When you're in education, you always want your students to be prepared for whatever they want to do when they leave that school environment. Just being able to compete just with schools in our state, in our own country or our region um, isn't really enough anymore. We want to make sure that we are doing the things that we need to do um, to be competitive with those other countries and to be competitive with people who are entering the workforce from other locations around the globe. I'd say personally I'm really prepared. I feel like, I mean, I've gotten to take college classes since my freshman year and we've had similar coursework and when I talk to like my college friends about what they're doing, it's really similar to the college classes that we take here. So the OECD, uh, we've been doing it for oh, probably seven years now. A lot of the countries across the, the world, they use this as their kind of measuring stick of how they're doing. OECD um, is an organization that has been assessing the progress of the most successful countries in the world for, for several decades. We've always had the state-defined curriculum, and in many instances, those standards are pretty cut and dry. The one big thing that's different about the OECD test is that it it requires students to apply knowledge, not just regurgitate information. We test 60 um, kids, and they're either freshmen or sophomores. It's just a random sampling that they send us. It assesses them on many different things. Um, not only you know the core content subject areas, but how they feel about their school environment, how their experience has been there, been here, um, if they feel like they are um, being supported in their education, if they feel like their education is important to them. Kids ask that more than ever. You know, you know, how can I use this, and 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 what can this help me do? And I think, from a teaching standpoint, I think we're doing different things in the school to really start to answer that even better for kids. I don't know if we got that part completely figured out, but I think, you know, our results are starting to show we're, we're making strides there because that's where our kids are. They're, they're our customer in a way, like they, they need to know, you know, how can I use this? And we're trying to answer that question the best we can. As a teacher, you start to see that stuff and, and you don't, you don't want to go anywhere. You want to be a part of kind of the things we're doing and, and be in a change at, at, in Campbell County. I think a lot of our high schoolers right now are facing um, high anxiety, um, some depression, um, time management, um, empathetic skills with others. Our teachers are trauma-informed. They're more aware of, of what things are, are happening outside of school for kids. I think kind of collectively as a school, we are focusing on trying to address those things. There's a lot of great opportunities here for all levels of kids, whether it's an internship, a co-op, job shadowing, dual credit through the colleges, uh, through our, our local community colleges. I just think our kids have such so many opportunities to improve themselves for life after high school. Um, I plan to major in either biology or chemistry with a pre-dental focus, and I'm not sure where I'll go yet, but it's probably between the University of Louisville and The Ohio State University. We have a lot of people to go to, and even if a teacher can't answer a question, there's always like programs to get tutored by a student or just going to anyone if you need help. I guess what I'm most proud of is the fact that this is, this is a team effort from preschool all the way up until they actually perform on this test. I think the one piece that we are really working hard on right now, spending a lot of time and energy is on these transition defenses. This is the first full year where every fifth, eighth, and 12th grade student will complete a transition defense. What does readiness and communication look like for a fifth grader differently than an eighth grader, differently than an, a 12th grader? And we're not there yet. We're still working on that, and that requires lots of conversation. Those conversations are very important, um, so we understand and we're all working together towards the same goal. The interaction between the students and the teachers, it's, it's very um, communicative and friendly. I feel most of my teachers, at least, um, I'm able to talk to about not just the subject, but other things that might help me in the future. I plan on studying biology. I've narrowed it down to uh, three schools, uh, UK, UCLA, and Stanford. And the world has become a much smaller place where we're more connected to other things. So I think it's really important that our students can compete with the people in their school, in their community, in their state, 
but even more so now with the way the, the world kind of operates, that they're very prepared to leave Campbell County High School ready to compete globally with everyone else.